Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are all enjoying your Saturday on this rainy, dingy day in Newcastle. Although I do have quite a nice background behind me. Uh, St. James's Park there in all its glory. But I do not have maybe the news I'd hope to give you this Saturday lunchtime as it's reported by Sky Sports that Newcastle's bid in the region of 30 million for Tino Livermento has been rejected by Southampton. So the chances of him walking through a door over there are, are quite slim at the moment. Obviously, I'm hoping that we could uh, maybe announce Harvey Barnes later on this evening. But in terms of the right back from Southampton, Tino Livermento, uh, Sky Sports are reporting that bid has been rejected for 30 million. You know, <laughs> I think it's already quite a good, uh, good price, quite a good offer. For a player um, of him like him, but I think one of the big sticking points right now is Chelsea. Chelsea have got a percentage clause, so whatever we pay Southampton, they have to give part of that to Chelsea. Um, and you know, when you're talking 15, 20 percent, 30 percent, all of a sudden, if Southampton want, you know, 20 million, 25 million for their own rebuild to try and get back to the Premier League. When Chelsea are nicking half of it, when Chelsea are nicking 10, 15 million of your fee, they're going to want more and more. Um, and I think it's quite clear that Newcastle want the player. They know Eddie Howe is, is keen on this guy. We know that Newcastle are keen on bringing him into the club. And when they've got that leverage, they can just keep asking for that, for that little bit more. I think one thing we have seen with the Newcastle owners, particularly this window, is saying enough's enough we will actually go and move on. We saw it in the past, and I know Eddie Howe picks his players that he likes, and I think Harvey Barnes is clearly a player that Eddie Howe likes, and that's why we've kind of zoned in on that one. It's understood that Tonali was, was first choice, was always first choice, and that's why Newcastle were really pushing for that guy. But we've also seen it with the likes of a Madison. We've seen it with um, a Sabozlai. We've seen, look, Diaby's looking like he's going to go to Villa as well. There's, there's players there that Newcastle were in for, um, and players that I wouldn't have minded had, had they joined the club, if we're being totally honest. But, you know, you're not going to chase somebody around forever. And, and that's the thing I think Southampton will, will need to realise that. I think it's, you know, for a, for a team who has a player that somebody else wants, I think they're in, their, they're in their right to try and push that little bit harder, try and get that little bit of extra money out of, of a club who have, have quite a lot of money. Let's be honest, although FFP is, is a factor and it's something that people talk about over and over again, we've seen the dominoes start to fall. Now that Maxi is looking ever so likely to leave the club, it looks like the, the Barnes domino has been flicked over and it looked like, according to a lot of reports coming out in the last 48 hours, that we'd also pushed over that Livermento domino. Uh, but, as of, as I say, this Saturday lunchtime, it's now being said by Sky Sports that in fact that £30 million bid has been rejected. You let me know your thoughts on that one down below. I think a lot of people have been talking about the fact that we're going in for a, um, a right back when we've already got Trippier. Funnily enough, um, one of the best right backs in the in the Premier League right now. You know, I, I totally get it because Trippier is getting that little bit older. I do think that we will still offer him a, a new contract. I think he's still got a couple of years in him, and that's the thing with Trippier. It's not really it's not really pace anyway. He's more like positional stance passing where to be and uh, as, as much as anything else helping the, helping the team through leading by example and being a great captain so I don't you know you, well, I mean players continue to play older and older these days anyway but it's not like I don't think that little bit of pace lost is really going to be as big a factor to someone like Trippier as it may be to you know a winger on a, like a speedster who really needs that pace but when you've got Trippier then you've got Mankio then you've got Crafty then you've got Ashby then you've got Livermento, five right backs. Is that, is that the plan for next season? I presume that isn't the plan. I presume the actual plan is was Trippier with Livermento coming in as number two to try and try and learn off him. And and that's the thing. As much as we might have loads of right backs, you know, God forbid, Trippier picked up a knock. Is Newcastle going to play? Mankio in a Champions League game you know is Ashby ready to be playing regular Premier League football so you can see why it may still be an area of the pitch that Newcastle want to try and invest in I think a lot of people however are talking about that other side over there you know the left back you know wouldn't wouldn't mind one of them but I suppose you, I suppose you could go down the route and say well hang on 
Burn, Target, Lewis, Dummett. Is that the lot? Richie? You know, got a, I've got a few of them as well. So, yeah, it's it, it's like in that gate said friendly. We have five left backs, five, five right backs. So, you know, we've, we've got a lot of players in those positions, but maybe it could be that despite having players available to those positions, Eddie Howe thinks that they aren't they aren't good enough. You know, Ashby's being heavily linked to a loan this this window. I think it's great that Eddie Howe's taken all of them with them on this USA tour tour. It gives them a um, a great chance to go out there, show themselves, and I mean, our perfect scenario, to be honest, would be that Ashby goes out there and Eddie Howe goes, "Well, actually." You know what? Maybe with a bit more training behind Trippier, this can be the guy who is able to play number two to Trippier this season. I presume at this point, from what Eddie Howe has seen throughout an entire season, last season, no one, we didn't really see a lot of Ashby. Buzzing that he got his goal, by the way. Buzzing that he got his goal um, against Rangers on Tuesday. I think that'll be a, a great boost to the confidence of a young lad who, who I would love to see improve and it would save us 30 million. Or in the eyes of Southampton, 35, 40. You know, how far do you really go on a right back? I think 30 potentially is already already pushing it. Um, but as I've said already, you're going to have to let me know your thoughts down below. Is going in with a Trippier enough this season? Or do we really need to kind of strengthen that position? Because maybe he, he won't be good enough. You guys are going to have to let... As someone is trying to run me over in this totally empty car park <laughs> wants to park on my feet so thank you for that but yeah <laughs> you guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on tino livermento your thoughts on the on the 30 million pound uh price tag you know is it a blessing in disguise that maybe it has been rejected and we will look somewhere else or will newcastle go in for more and if we do go in for more do you think it's a payment we should be pay should be making or is there other positions we should be looking at you guys let me know your thoughts on that one down below and as i said already harvey barnes i'm hoping look at me watch it's not actually midday yet so yeah maybe later on tonight I'm, i actually half think is harvey barnes already on a plane over to america and could they actually be announcing him as the new player over there maybe i think it would be um, a great way to kind of show i suppose you know we're going out there for pre-season training but we're also going out there to kind of grow the brand grow the club and i guess find some new fans over in the usa so being able to unveil a player over there maybe would be quite cool in that respect but we've seen them all around newcastle so it's got to be happening soon but yes the news coming out as of this afternoon is that the livermento deal is not as close as first discussed or first thought or first reported you guys let me know your thoughts on that one down below. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your Saturday. Don't think we're going to get much sun, but um, enjoy it anyway. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you later on with a, a Barnes announcement. So subscribe. Hit that, hit that red button. Hit that black and white button. Subscribe. Uh, and maybe we'll have a, um, a video out later on celebrating that one. Thanks, guys. And I'll catch you later.